wake up. Hey, wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna wanna go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay, all right. And here we are. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Hopefully you enjoyed that introduction to day two here in Firewatch. If you haven't watched the first day, I highly suggest you go back and check it out on my channel here. You should see something popping up on your screen here soonish to follow to that link. You don't want to miss anything. It sets up a lot for the following episodes. So let's hop right in here with Henry, and we're going to go ahead and head out for day two, and we're going to go explore and see what happened to the, uh, the telephone lines here. What an emotional first episode. Again, I'm not going to say too much. Hopefully at this point you've clicked off so I don't ruin it. So three, two, one. All right, so Henry was in a relationship, was married to a gal, and uh, that gal was starting to have some issues. And um, Henry had to, to leave the relationship and is now out here in Wyoming at a fire tower taking care of it, right? Here's our fire tower. Oh, look at that sunrise. Isn't that pretty? God, that's so pretty. Anyways, Henry's out here. And uh, on the first day of the job, he had to go take some fireworks from some girls down by the lake that were shooting him off. Uh, wasn't the greatest situation, so he went and took care of that. Am I even going the right way? Hold on, let me pull up the map. Let me zoom in here. Uh, catch 306, where's the caves? No, I am not going the right way. I need to go back up and head the other way. Ah, again, screwed this up. So sorry, folks. So let's head back this way. Anyways, so on his way back to the fire tower, he has to pass through this cave. And when he comes out of the cave, there's a strange man. Strange man doesn't say anything, just shines a light at Henry, and then disappears into the woods. As Henry comes back to his beautiful fire tower right there, his typewriter's been thrown on the ground, uh, the place has been ransacked, the window was broken, the... Let's see, is this to the bear tooth? Uh, let's just pull our map up here, zoom on in. Okay, I am now heading the correct way. I think we came up... Yeah, we came up this way, right? Yeah. Anyways, so Henry comes back. The place has been ransacked. His bed sheets were stolen. The sign he knocked down and has moved over since. Let's go ahead and drop down here. And it was just not a good day for Henry at all. Oops, can we report something? I thought I saw something pop up here. Yeah, I guess not. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop down one more time. So, in the comments down below, let me know what you thought of the first day, what you thought of the, the quality of the video and all that good stuff. I would really appreciate it. This is going to be a personal project for me. I've always wanted to play this game, and I want to play it with you guys. So, even if you guys hate this video, uh, I'm still going to be playing it. You'll just have to deal with however many episodes I turn it into. These are going to be a little bit longer episodes, uh, just because it's not like our mini Metro and mini Motorways and other games we've played. I just want to play the entire day, record it, and then put it out for you guys. Whew, that was a lot to say here. Uh, what I've been saying about the game so far is just look at this beautiful environment. Take it in. Look at the lights. Uh, oops, there's something popping up right here. Let's see if we can get it to... It's not... It's like right there. I can't quite get it. Some rock slide maybe? Uh, wake up. Let's see. Let's go. Can you see uh, me? Hey, I can see your tower. Even though we can't really see it. Yeah, well enough. And that's all the response she's going to give us. Okay. So let's keep running here. Here's the cave. Uh, we got some morning fog and it's cold it's out. Pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. Ooh, I like what that echo. Down there? I mean, what's life like? 
Uh, let's talk about. Oh, let's talk about the dog. Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. <laughs> All right. So we're through the bushes here. I don't think so. Why have you? Okay. Good. Okay, we're not going to reply. No, I don't think he has any idea. Any idea what? I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. That was hey, interesting. Sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You um, you owned him with someone? Uh, let's just talk about, we're going to ignore it. We don't want to lead on that we know what's going on. So we got to figure out if Delia's friend or foe here. Julia. Oh, like, like your wife or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. She's sick and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I, I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, that's true. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Oh, I will. I will, Delilah. All right, uh, I can see the wire. Did I report it? I guess not. All right, let's try that again. Utility pole. I can see uh, the wire. I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Okay, another utility pole. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just <laughs> seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. All right, so bear tooth point. I wonder if we're going to run into a bear here soon. Bear. Wow, I can't speak. So we're going to go to the right. Oh, there's telegraph wire. Looks like there's a cachet up there, and we're just going to keep following it this way. Let's go ahead and put our map away. I saw some stuff over here to the right, maybe like an old campground toilet or something. Yeah, an old outhouse it looks like. Old outhouse. Yeah, let's uh, call that in. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, <laughs> you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, oh, there's an old cabin. I mean the right area. I In a box. Believe, Is that box marked? Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. All right, so we got a box out here. Let's see if the code is still 1234. Can we call this in? We can't. Um, one, two... Three and four. There we go. It is. All right. Let's see if there's any goodies in here for us. Uh, we got a hat. We can call that in. Veteran's hat. Found an old hat from a Korean War vet. You'd be surprised how many former service members take this gig. Hmm. Well, makes sense. All right. We'll hold on to it. War, you probably can't get enough silence. Hmm. And then here's an old cabin with a weather vane on top. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello. Okay then. Ooh, it's open. Ooh, that's creepy. And she didn't respond. Delilah, what's going on, girl? You gotta tell us something. Ruined firefinder. Uh, some old trash. Can I call any of this in? No. What is? We got downstairs, guys. Do we even want to go down? Yeah, we're gonna go downstairs. Let's see what's going on down here. Old guitar. Some branches. Um, there is something going on here. Let's see, let's examine this guitar. It's destroyed. We'll go ahead and put it back down for now. A burned bed. This is this is creepy. Um, I wonder if there's some burned documents are in there. We'll check that out in a second. Um, old propane tank here. Let's go ahead and open the stove up. Nothing in the stove. All right, so something happened here. This is not what I expected. Well, what's that sign say? Oh, that's just the flora and fauna sign again. All right. It's an odd uh, odd burn pattern, I guess. I don't know. A lot of wind. That's That makes me question Delilah. If she didn't want to respond about that, something's going on, and she's hiding it from us. 
What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below if she's hiding something from us, if she's a good person, bad person, what's going on. Now, I think on the map I saw there was some more stuff. We didn't go over there, but we can kind of head back and up and around this, it looks like. So let's go check out this area. Go ahead and lower our compass here, and let's put our jog back on. Henry getting his steps in. The wire is right there. But let's see if there's something over here we can discover. It might help us find out what's really going on with Delilah. If she is truly friend or foe. All right, let's clear this. I don't know if we're even supposed to be going this way. I see a uh, blocked trail. Overgrown uh, trail. Overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm -hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. All right, so we need to go find like a an axe or a shovel because clearly there's something, there's something down there. Do you guys see that? Look at that. Like a a chair and a table and there's a book or something. Okay, let's let's backtrack here because I thought I saw some stuff on the map further back down the trail. So let's go back this way. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. This is me just exploring and having a good old time. If you don't like it, well, you can click off the video, and I appreciate the view, and uh, come on back to another video that suits you if Firewatch doesn't suit you. Anyway, sorry, that was me being mean. Don't need to be doing that right now. Uh, okay, let's pull our map back up here. Whoopsies. All right, um, so it should be just to kind of over this way. Can I climb up these rocks or anything? Um, oops. I keep hitting shift to run. I really wish they made shift to run in this game. I'm stuck on this rock now. How do I do this? All right, there we go. Um, maybe down here more? I still don't see a way. Is it on that side? Maybe it's down here. Let's go down here and look. Um, I don't see any trails or anything. Map. Let's pull our map back up. All right, so I am pretty far down now. Um, okay, let's go, because you can see it right there. Hawk's Rest was the name of that cabin, huh? All right, so up and to the right. All right, let's go back up this way and see if we see see anything off to our right as we're going. Maybe we can climb these rocks. They didn't look climbable, but who knows? Let's see. I keep getting stuck on these rocks, darn it. Can I get up this? No. Because I think this is about right where it should be. Yeah, it's right where it should be. I wonder if we need like a rope or something. Some climbing gear. We clearly don't have any of that. Um, yeah, that's it. That's got to be it. I just don't know how to get up there. We might have to backtrack after we go and find that cachet up here earlier. Is it cachet? Catch? I don't know. <sighs> Got stuck on a rock again. Anyways, let's continue on here. So we already went and looked at the cabin over there. Let's head this way this time. And we're going to hop this log and continue on down the path following the wire. Uh, let's see if there's anything. Ah, I keep hitting that shift. Um, there is some stuff this way. Okay, let's go take a peek. Turn our flashlight off there. I don't see anything over here that worth noting. No. Okay, we'll keep going this way. Yeah, now we're just kind of exploring. I, I enjoy this. One, it's a great scenery. There's there's the box we're going for. Those utility poles are still in check. That's good. Coming into like this rocky rocky gulch. All right, let's zoom in here. Um, okay, so we can go up and get that catch. And it looks like if we kind of follow the trail that way. Let's, let's go this way first. And let's go find that. I bet you there's some climbing gear. Hopefully there's climbing gear in it. That's that's what I want to get. Then we can go back and check out that one area that we were just looking at. While I'm running around down in the comments below, let me know what's going on in your guys' life. I always like hearing about that. Uh, what do you do? Where are you from? What games you're playing right now? Please just, you know, interact. Let me know. I'm more than happy to respond. If you guys got questions about me, you know, leave me a question or two. Be more than happy to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, as you can tell, I enjoy talking about myself. So ask a question, and you'll probably get an answer at this point, unless it's too personal. That'd be a little, a little creepy there. 
All right, so this just looks like it's a little flat area. Let's go run over here. I don't see anything else other than the box here, which is in a very odd place. Let's go ahead and open this up. One, two, three, oops, and four. And let's see what we get as our prize. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and copy down that map information, update ourself, perfect. And then we got a note here. Let's go ahead and we'll phone the note in, Ron and Dave again. It's Ron and Dave, they're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy, Oops. guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know him that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and read this. All right, 7.30.86. Dave, hey -o, I got your note about needing to talk, and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figure you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I didn't even know how I could really help anyway. We're coworkers, you know, amigo professionals. If you need someone to throw a case back with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it later, Ron. Hmm. Okay, we'll go ahead and hold on to that. We might need that in the future. Uh, we can pick up... Ah, ha, ha. Okay, let's go ahead and drop that board. We don't need that board anymore. Six feet down under. Uh, that's not the most assuring thing. Interesting book. I guess we're just going to throw it on the ground. We got the pine cone. And we'll go ahead and close that. It. Interesting. I, I don't know if that's like some foreshadowing or what. All right, supply drop up there, another cache. Looks like there's some trails. It doesn't say how to get up there. Maybe you can't get up there. Maybe it's just a diversion. So, okay, let's go ahead and keep moving forward now that we updated our map and I keep hitting the shift key to run even though it's not what we're supposed to be doing. I hear something moving. Um, oh, there's the wire down. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. All right, well, let's go inspect that. So we'll go ahead and swing around here. I keep hearing something. Is I guess that's the wire moving in the breeze? I don't know. Through this rock slide canyon here, whatever you want to call this. Looks like we need to climb over this rock. Ah, oh, there's a bear can. We'll have to clean that up here in a second. Uh, guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before. Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. All right, let's go ahead. Ooh, a long drop. Wee. All right, and we're down on the ground. Well, I hopped down a drop, and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. Even though it I looks like we could hiking, go I that way. I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Mm, how adventurous of you. Hmm. <laughs> I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and hop up this. We'll check our map here really quick. All right, so it looks like we explored all that. So let's just keep heading this way. We'll put our map away and keep jogging. Yeah, we already called that utility pole in here on day two of Firewatch. Just so beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? All right, some more beer cans. Ah, these kids. Hopefully they didn't knock out our wires. Red Eagle, we'll pick all that up, clean that up because I can't stand it. Uh, mm. All right, can I hop this? Uh, okay, let's go ahead and inspect. See if we get shocked here. It looks cut to me. That's an awfully straight cut. Henry, you uh, we got some stuff going on here, bud. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. 
That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. All right, Delilah, go and go nuclear. Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. Follow the cans. Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. All right, and we got that nice sign there letting us know that uh, we need to go away. So let's go ahead and we'll pick up this beer can, and we're just going to follow their pile of trash back while we clean up their litter because we're a good person, you know what? And we're going to keep Wyoming nice and clean. Uh, we're not going to do that drop. We can just run around here because I see another beer can down here that needs to be picked up. And we'll go ahead and clean that up as well. Any down there? Nope, we'll just take the long way around. Keep making sure there's no litter. All right, down this trail here. Ah, another beer can. Clean that up for them. Ah, we're just the maids for them apparently. Doing all their dirty work, literally picking up after them. All right, down into a little meadow here, enjoying the scenery. Hopefully you guys are too. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming if you've been enjoying this video or any of the other videos. Go ahead and do this long drop, another long drop, Wee sploosh. All right, and I think we can report another one. I gotta tell you, all this climbing and jumping, it's pretty invigorating. Just wait for the rest of the summer when you'll be sitting on your fat ass 14 hours a day. Um, so do we want to head to the supply drop or do we want to head to the lake? Let's pull up our map here. Let's, let's go check the, let's check that supply drop out. Yeah. And then we can come back and head down to the lake. It can't be that far. It says only 0.2, about a quarter mile. Let's see if we can get ourselves any, some good gear. Let's see. Supply drop, I'm guessing to the left. Yeah. And thoroughfare fire lookout. Can I call it in? No. Okay. Let's go this way here. See if we can find some good gear. There it is. Nice green box, different than the other boxes. And we can have ourselves a view of the forest. I don't see any fires, so we're doing our job there. Oh, I like that view. Look at that. Just very simple. Okay, let's check this out. Uh, one, two, three, and four. Open that up, and let's see what we get. All right. Um, whole lot of nada. So we can go ahead and close that. Maybe we have to come back to that at a later day. I can't tell if there's a humming is outside my apartment or if it's coming from the game. Sounds like it's coming from outside my apartment, so I don't think it's part of the game. And I'm stuck on that fence post. What am I... There we go. All right, let's go up the trail a little bit more, see if we can run into anything. It might be blocked. 4.7 miles. I bet you it's blocked. We're probably not meant to go this way because we're already losing the trail. Uh, Delilah's Tower, can I see clues from your... Oh, where'd it go? Do you see anything from yours, like, you know, the clues as to where they could be? <laughs> clues. Oh, we have to take a poly. I really like your enthusiasm for mystery. I'm just doing my job. I like it. I, I do. I just... I, I can't wait for you to give these girls a piece of your... Our... Mind. Minds. <laughs> collective. But no, no clues. I, I can't see anything from here. We can pull this across. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Hmm. No. Well, yeah, no, why not? Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of there here. There it is. See it swirling. A tornado in the heart of the Rockies. Yes. Holy moly! I need to call this in. Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado. He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the Greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Hey, at least she's calling us by the right name. 
Or, no, we're not even getting called by the right name. We're Henry, not Hank. Man, she's got me convinced our name's Hank. Ugh. All right, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and hi da hike down this way, and we'll head to the lake and see if we can catch those girls in their Red Eagle cans as we clean up after them. Ugh. Anyways, what I was saying before we went on to that um, conversation, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you've been enjoying these videos. Comment. Um, check out the channel. Check out any of the videos. Really appreciate you guys. All the likes, subscribes, views, view hours, things like that. You're really making my uh, my heart sing here. We'll cross this log, and we got a backpack. It looks like hanging from this tree branch. Let's go ahead and call that in. Abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens. No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Brian Goodwin. You can always pilfer it for supplies. All right, let's go ahead and take that. See what we got. I saw some rope on the side. Oops, nice Polaroid camera there. Some climbing rope. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition too. That's nice. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up. I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left. See to use yeah, disposable yeah, camera. Neato. Thank you, Brian All right. Goodwin. Let's go ahead and hop down here. Wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Clearly she knows who that is. Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Uh, let's go X Lever. Was he a fella you had a thing with? Mm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. Ugh. I'm <laughs> kidding. Not about him being an actual 12 year old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Uh, let's go up Y. Hey, where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. It's a and, um, thin calm smoke, one day yeah. They were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. So Have uh, fun with that camera. Got 18 Can shots left. Anything that would scar a photo dome employee. <laughs> I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. All right, let's well, go ahead and take I'm a photo of that. Drop, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Go ahead and call that thin smoke in. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You think it's them? Only one way to find out. I so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Fossilized claw. Call uh, that someone in. found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. Well, maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. <laughs> All right, and let's go ahead and read this note here. 61686. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that. Steve, it's your man, Ron. I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for LOS. Um, so I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and the perverted, except us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Ron. All right, we'll go ahead and hang on to that letter as well. So let's head. Um, do we want to head... So there's a climb down there to the, the cave, and I don't know what that other one is. Let's find the source of the smoke. All right, let's just head towards the source of the smoke and see see what we can find. It is getting a little darker out. Nope, we're not answering because that wasn't directed at us. Let's see if she says something else here soon. Sorry, I don't mean to just leap into it if you're not ready. Oh, I wonder if they're looking up... Um, Whatever our wife's name was. What was our wife's name? Maybe I'll ask you again. In oh, time. she was talking to us. Dang it. Ah, uh, okay. We could have t responded to that. My bad, guys. All right, into what looks like a fresh or recently burned area. There's the column of smoke. Um, burn tree, yep. 
keep jogging along here. I'm not seeing anything on our right or left to go explore. So let's just keep heading down the trail here. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. <laughs> flapjack. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? <laughs> it's Tell him, Henry. All right, so let's go up here. We should be getting near that thin column of smoke here any soon, any moment soon. All right, so where are we at now? We are here. Um, okay, so, and it's directly in front of us, so we need to cross the river, and then it looks like we need to go back up towards, like, Medicine Wheel, maybe? I don't know. Let's see what happens. We'll go ahead and hook into the rope here and then jump on down. Man, we're 33 minutes in. Hopefully you guys are still here and watching. Like I said, I know this is going to be a long, these are going to be long episodes and I don't have a lot to say. So there might be some quietness as we just kind of hike along here. Hopefully you're okay with that. I don't want to bore you too much. Oops. And there we go. Okay. We're down and then a uh, canyon crossover. We'll go ahead and jump. This is not safe at all, but okay. We made the jump. And we'll go ahead and go up this one here too. I like the music. Do we got someone looking at us? Because this is kind of where, eh, no, it's more up that way. Okay, let's go ahead and climb up here. And here we go. Nice, we made that cross. No issues. All right, so where are we at on the map now? All right, so now we're on this trail. We're gonna kind of come up by our tower. And then, I guess we didn't go down that way to the left. We could have explored that. That's my fault. All right. Let's keep heading towards the smoke. Hopefully we didn't miss anything over there. I would have really liked to have gone and seen that. Climb up here. All right. I've lost the smoke, but um, we know it's kind of this way. It's got to be a medicine wheel. Just based off the map. Let me know in the comments down below what you think's going on. We've got a little bit of information. Some suspicions are being thrown Del Delilah's way. She's not or she's potentially not being as truthful as we, as we would like, but you, you just never know. Okay, go ahead and drop down here again. And I don't think we've been this way yet. Uh, so we need to go, I believe, right, and we'll keep going this way. I think we already opened 306. We did. All right, and we're going to keep heading this way. Thin column of smoke. There it is. All right, and we're going to keep hiking this way, down this trail towards the lake. Are we passing Medicine Wheel? Um, sort of. We might have to, we might get there. We'll find out. Okay, we can put our compass down as well. I don't see anything else that's changed since last time. Hopefully, hopefully we're not missing anything. So it looks like it's just on the down. I think this is where we fell, right? Pretty sure we fell here last time where our rope snapped. All right, rope hook. Let's go ahead and hook into it. Let's see if it's still... Nope, there's no broken rope. No continuity of gameplay there. There's the, the thin smoke. And we're just going to uh, rappel down, please. Come on. All right, there we go. Go ahead and rappel down across this rock shale. No snapping of the rope, please, this time. Thank you, Brian Goodwin for having lots and lots of good rope in your backpack. Almost down, there we go. All right, uh, can't be much further here. Where is it? There it is, we're getting closer. Um, check out our map, let's zoom in. Um, so we probably want to, we probably want to repel here. Yeah, let's repel here. Hook in there. Throw the rope down. Good job, Henry, or Hank, or whatever your name is. Okay, rappel down. Glad we're unlocking all these different parts of the map, too. So if we need to come back and explore later, we know how to do that with the rope. All right, and then let's get our jog back on and figure out what's going on here. I can't see the smoke anymore. Can you guys? Might be on just the other side of this rock face. 
Um, all right, let's go check out our map again. So we're we're kind of coming down towards Catch 309. Um, and there's a campground over there, it looks like. Okay, so let's keep running here. There should be a box around here. Let's kind of check over here, make sure we're not missing anything. No burned cabins, caves, things like that. Unmarked supply boxes like we saw last time. I do like... I do like how the light's changing. This like orangish light as on what I'm assuming the sun's setting. All right, and we'll check this box out here. All right, one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and open that up there and see what we got ourselves. Let's see, we got a missing person. I wonder who that could be. Uh, ooh, missing person. How many, how many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area, the thoroughfare because it's so Mitch remote. Michaels. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD day hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. All right, let's see. Uh, you really didn't like this guy. That sounds not good. Um, let's PTSD. go with that. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and look at this letter here. All right, Mitch Michaels. I'm not going to read all this. Um, last seen around Jonesy Lake, July 3rd, 81. Missing. Vehicle info. All right, well, feel free to pause if you want to read that a little bit closer. We'll go ahead and hold on to that. We've got a picture of Teddy... And I don't see anything else in here that's going to be useful for us. So we'll go ahead and close that. And let's keep heading towards our mystery smoke. Uh, lush woods. For as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? Did not know that. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? No. Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Exactly. So we'll just follow this. I don't see much on the other side of the stream. So let's stay over here. I can't see the smoke in the, the daylight. Wait, is that it there? There's a bunch of birds over there. Let's cross the stream. Hopefully they're not like circling around something beautiful little waterfall over there though let's check out our map let's see what's going on down here all right so yeah we'll swing around and then we'll go to that campsite it looks like but there's a bunch of birds over there let's go check that out it could be nothing could be something could be something could be nothing and i think it's uh a vista okay hey, what's to the south of here um mexico is this some sort of riddle <laughs> i just have a nice view to the south trees and mountains forever yeah well eventually you'll wander into the area overseen by chimney rock lookout but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain all right nothing else over here that's hiding from us at least that i see uh ooh, we got a coat or a tarp or something hanging in the tree uh scrap of fabric uh there's some cloth out here it looks like it was torn from something strange I'll keep looking around. Yeah, that doesn't make me feel good. Port really the waterfall. Nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. All right, let's go see if we can find what's going on. So I think we kind of swung around, right? No, we're right where we need to be. All right, let's keep going this way into this campground area, it looks like. It's saving, so something's coming up. I don't see... Oh, here's the camp. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. 
Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. Okay, fire stamped oh, out. This is. I have entered My the sheets. team zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. I don't see anything else around. My sheets! Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like. Can I take them? I can't take them. Alright, we'll go ahead and well, dangerous, hunks. dangerous hunks. What on earth are you. It's another one of those magazines. <laughs> Alright, and a case of brewskis. The girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. <laughs> All right, and then here's their tent with a lot of, a lot of. Ooh, no, it's been, been ransacked. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or um. There's a note. I don't know. It sounds crazy, but even a bull elk, if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? Yeah, it might I do. Be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Okay, we got that, and then we'll take a shot like that. All right, let's put our camera down here, and we'll report the clothing. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Sleeping bag. Maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. <laughs> Can I grab it? No, we can't grab it. All right, let's go ahead and call the note in. Uh, it looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. All right, let's go ahead and read it here. All right, dear Psycho, I hope you're happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You probably a mental ax murder and so you are going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. You can read the rest there. All right, so let's go ahead and call that in. Oh, they're gone for sure. Uh, they kind of think they attacked them. Um, Apparently they called the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? Look, I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right, all right, it's just, it's weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but <laughs> they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Okay, I don't see anything else back here. Oh, and there is day three. Okay, that was an interesting ending. So as this loads in, I will um, let Henry finish boarding up, and we'll start here next time. Go ahead and comment on down below what you think is going on here in Firewatch. That was very, very, very interesting. Uh, clearly something's going on out here. We're not going to respond to you, Delilah, right now. Uh, we're going to let them talk here. Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. <laughs> okay, we'll let that finish here. Um, let me just go ahead and pause it here, and I will finish my exit. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Like I said, comment on down below. Let me let me know what you think's going on. I got some ideas, but uh, I want to hear what you guys think. And we'll see you in the next Firewatch video.